I was kind of worried that it would look like a turd, but I think you can see quite well that it is a sorting hat. Hello friends and welcome to another magical unboxing. Today I have the August Geek Gear Wizardry Box for you guys and I am very excited about this one because I had a little peek on YouTube. I didn't see any of the videos but I saw the titles and almost everyone says it is their best box Ever. So you can see why I'm very excited and I have high expectations. Before we start my intro, and this is kind of a tradition by now, let's take a look at the three hints that we got from Gigear. The first hint is a Victor Crumb at the Goblet of Fire. So I think we're gonna get this candy bowl that looks like the goblet. And then when you eat all the candies, you get to the paper replica that comes out of the Goblet of Fire. And it's blue candies that represent the flame. Uh-huh. The second hint is Harry standing in Dumbledore's office. And I really hope that this is a mini replica of some of the crazy stuff that you can find in his office or maybe even a mini replica of the pensive. The third and final hint is a picture of Privet Drive with all the owls. I think we're gonna get a little Privet Drive sign that glows in the dark. I don't know why, but I just like that. Those are all the hints. Uh, I do have to warn you guys, I never got it right. The probability that one of these items will actually be in this box is very small. Anyways, if you like these kind of magical unboxings, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video. F me again. Let's get unboxing. I think most of you know by now, but Geeky Wizardry is a monthly subscription where you get all kinds of magical goodies and it always includes a t-shirt. If you want to know more about Geeky Wizardry, I will leave their website in the description down below. Let's take our first look into this box. Okay. Wow, great start. Great start, guys. That was an exciting sneak peek. Okay, um, now that everyone's heart rate is up, let's take the first item out of this box. I can see a wand in here, and lately I've been loving their wands. The one I'm using right now is their latest edition, and man, it is gorgeous. But let's not start with the wands. Or why not? Let's start with the wand. Let's go crazy. Their wands always come in these boxes with their trademark on there that says unique wands. Ooh, this is like an Asian inspired wands. This has to be Asian inspired. I can see some markings on there and that appear to be Chinese, but I'm not entirely sure. And the top just looks like a kind of like a temple roof. I don't know how to describe it, but it's got this silver and gold and it feels really good to hold because most of the weight has gone into this part so that is perfect for using the wand and um yeah i like it that's a great start to the box let's take a look at the card that always comes with it we got the azure wand and it is 13 and a half inches the core is thestral to her and the wood is elm. Next item is a little box that says Sneakoscope. Oh wow, okay, are you kidding me? That, okay, this could potentially look really awesome. So we have a picture of a Sneakoscope on the side and we can also see a lightning bolt. And then on the back, it has a lot of Latin words. Let's just open this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't this like an exact replica of the one we see in the movies? I know for sure that I've seen it somewhere before other than on the box. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. It has a lot of colors and there's a spinning ball in here that drives me crazy. I'm happy to see that they stepped up their game when it comes to these replicas because the last time we got a mini replica, it kind of looked like a plastic children's toy because it was only black and it just looked really cheap. This one still looks like a children's toy, but I don't mind because this is an exact replica. They use the same colors. There's even a little blue ball inside that spins. Yeah, they did a great job on this. Perfection would be that if you spin the ball, it would make a whistle sound, but we can't have it all. Let's go for the t-shirt. And I can see that it says Hogwarts on the front. Let's give you guys the first look. Wow, okay. Lots of letters. Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and Ministry of Magic. 
request the pleasure of your company for your entertainment. The Weird Sisters, the annual Yule Ball. Strictly dressed to impress. See Professor McGonagall for more details. Wow, that's that's a lot for one shirt. Could this be the first hint when we see Victor Crumb at the Goblet of Fire? I love the black with the white letters. I love the font of the Weird Sisters and the fact that it is the Weird Sisters. That's amazing. However, there is a lot on this t-shirt. Like, a lot. I think I would have liked this shirt better if it just said the Weird Sisters. Um, but I still like it, I'm just not in love with it. Let's go for another a little box and this is gonna be another chess piece. And I love that because I have a chess board and I have been replacing my ordinary pieces with these magical chess pieces. And it looks amazing, so I'm really excited about this. Is this gonna be a bishop? I think it is. Yes! It is a bishop. What is he doing with his hands? Oh, right, that's kind of like stand there, stay there. This looks awesome. They're doing a great job with the amount of details on these pieces and this is a great addition. Every box also contains artwork and let's see what artwork we got this month. I'm gonna show it to you guys first. Is this something with the forbidden... Oh, this looks... So cool! Okay. Oh, and it's the same artist from the Hogwarts Castle. Is it Holly Simpson? I think so. I, I have to check at the end on the spoiler sheet, but we can see the Forbidden Forest, the Fort Anglia, and Aragog and his spiders. I also like the white border. It kind of seems like you're taking a look into the painting. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have to find a place for this. You guys can't see this, but there's art above the bookcase and I'm running out of space. I have to find somewhere to put this without scaring my boyfriend out of the house because I cannot put Harry Potter art everywhere in the house. There's like, I can only do that in this room. <laughs> I think this is the last item in the box. It says eternal glory and it has a mace on the front with the goblet of fire in the middle. So this has to be the first hint. But then what were the other two hints? I don't get it because the other one was perfect drive and then there was Harry in Dumbledore's office. So what items represent those hints? Help me out here guys because I'm confused but this box definitely represents the first hint where we see Victor Crumb at the Goblet of Fire. There's a maze on the front, the Goblet of Fire in the middle and again these weird Latin words. Still have to check with Geekier what the words mean. I should definitely email them. I always forget those kind of things. Let's see what is inside this little box. It is a mini replica of the Tri-Wizard Cup. This is definitely gonna go on my Goblet of Fire shelf. Oh my gosh, yes. This is awesome. The detail is amazing. The paintwork is good. It says Tri-Wizard. Really happy with that awesome item. Of course, let's not forget about the scratch card because I always win. No win, better luck next time. Those were all the items in the August box. That means we are left with the spoiler sheet. <clears throat> I was already aware of this because someone messaged me on Instagram. I am the YouTube spotlight, so thank you very much, Gigir, because that is awesome. But seriously, this is the best screenshot you could take of me. I mean, I look like a freaking toothpaste commercial. <laughs> my teeth. Do I always look like this? Oh my gosh, you guys. No, but seriously, it's an honor, so thank you very much. Okay, let's not focus on my head, but let's focus on the items that we got in the August box. We got a total of seven items in this box, and the artwork is indeed by Holly Simpson. Right, this explains why I didn't get it, because I totally missed the seventh item, which is the monthly charm. And it is an acceptance letter, so that's the hint from Perfect Drive. This is a really nice charm because not only there's the front of the envelope with the Hogwarts crest and the seal, at the back there is actually the address, Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs. And this is of course another charm that you can add to your bracelets. And my favorite item this month, I don't think there's any competition because I am absolutely in love with this mini replica. It is the Tri Wizard Cup. I do have to say though, but maybe this was because I had really really high expectations. I wouldn't necessarily say that this was their best box ever. 
I mean, there were some great items in this box, but I think it was just a strong box and they're doing a great job lately. So they should definitely keep this up, but I don't necessarily think this was their best box ever, but do let me know what you think. And that was it. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.